Storytime with Tom Foolery presents The Very Hungover Caterpillar Written by Josie Lloyd and Emlyn Rees In the gloom of the room, a fully dressed man lies on the sofa. The next morning, the TV comes on and... Oh! Up lurches a thirsty and very hungover caterpillar. He starts to look for a cure. At 7 a.m. he has one paracetamol, but he is still hungover. At 8 a.m. he has two cups of sweet tea and calls in sick, but he is still hungover. At 9 a.m. he has three slices of toast, two fizzy vitamin pills, and a black coffee. But he is still hungover. At 11 a.m. he has four rashes of bacon, three sausages, two eggs, and a slice of fried bread. But he is still hungover. By 4 p.m. he has watched five hours of daytime TV, ignored four text messages, eaten three family-sized packets of hula hoops, two pot noodles, and has drunk a liter bottle of full-fat coke. But he is still hung over. At 8 p.m. He orders one chicken tikka masala, one lamb biryani, one pilau rice, one taka dal, one alu gobi, one onion bhaji, one naan, one chapati, and washes it all down with one tub of double choc chip ice cream. But he is still hungover. After that, he has a massive tummy ache. Now he isn't just a hungover caterpillar anymore. He is a bloated, smelly hungover caterpillar. He guzzles one big green bottle of indigestion medicine, does a huge burp, and feels slightly better. He has a shave and a shower, and cocoons himself inside his duvet. He stays inside for more than 12 hours. Then he stretches, pushes his way out, and finally, he floats like a butterfly. The end. Float like a butterfly, sting like a butterfly. The Very Hungover Caterpillar Written by Josie Lloyd and Emlyn Rees Illustrated by Gillian Johnson Narrated by Tom Foolery Well, we've all been there, haven't we, folks? So, what's the worst state you've ever gotten yourself into? Have you ever woken up in a stranger's bed not knowing where you are or even forgotten your own name? Perhaps woken up in your own porch because you can't work the key to your own house. No, me neither. Let us know in the comments section your hangover cures. Do you just sleep it off or do you carry on drinking, you rogue? Or do you just not drink at all because you're perfect and wonderful and we should all be like you, shouldn't we, Karen? Finger the links on screen. More story time coming soon. See you next Tuesday.